That's right, guys. El Hadi Peo is back for a second season. Now, under normal circumstances, there is going to be a very uh, traditional approach to what we did last season for these shows. We're going to talk about what happened in weeks prior leading up to this week. Games ahead for the weekend across the league. Standings across the league. And then, of course, talk about goals, 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 top plays and who to watch for in the upcoming game. And even an interview here and there. And what's even more exciting is we're going to have a partner on this this year, and that'll be my friend on the channel here, Luke. And Luke is going to be helping me out with some of the program's uh, content here. So you guys don't have to listen to me drone on throughout this entire pregame show. This first one here, we're just setting the stage, but expect to see Luke in week two for the second home game as we talk about players to watch and other big things going on within the league. But since we need to set the tone for the season, let's start out by taking a look at the players in the field in the Midwest division to start. So guys, a very different look to what we've seen in the last couple of years in the sense that it is a very narrow field of teams that are participating in the Midwest United States this year. Take a look at this crowd. The majority of the teams being in Michigan, of course, we're going to see some familiar faces and rivals. Michigan Futsal Factory over in Ann Arbor. We're going to see Cadence Futsal Club out of Illinois. And then, of course, uh, newcomers that we're seeing this weekend and looking to make a statement against Detroit Imperial. In Detroit Imperial participating in the FCS as well. Curious to see how they plan on doing double duty with participating in a league in Lansing as well as now having to travel even further to our home in Grand Rapids, where we will be uh, very adamant about defending our house and making a statement as we look to get back to our winning ways and getting another championship trophy in our cabinet with Olay's name on it. So a very interesting Midwest division that's going to see the same teams a few times. We, should, we will face all of these teams three times over the course of the season. And then just for our own information, we have to take a look at the other half of the league, which is based in the Southwest United States, some familiar faces in Southwest Division champions, Bruce FC out of Arizona. You're going to see New Mexico flagship, who is always a powerhouse in every game they play in. Colorado Futsal Academy, who were the upset kings from last year, uh, taking some big scalps during the regular season from both of the big hitters in New Mexico, as well as Bruce. And then newcomer on their side of the fence as well. Instead of seeing San Diego Voyagers this season, we are going to see Santa Fe Gloom. So a new look to the league this season. I'm not exactly sure how this will impact our uh, tournament play, if any, at this point. But I'm sure more will come out at that from the league. So keep an eye out on the league social media pages for that information until we know more. And this will set the stage for the games ahead. So we are the only game this weekend, guys. It is Grand Rapids Olay in the spotlight as they deserve. The runners up from last season look to make a statement against newcomers Detroit Imperial at home, at HSB. If you guys are in Grand Rapids, I strongly encourage that you see the game live. It is an experience you won't want to miss, but at the very least, make sure you follow along on the NFPL Futsal YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of the action from your very own Grand Rapids Olay. With that in mind, let's take a look at what to expect here for the rest of the season from the channel and start looking ahead to what is to come here to start the season. So like I mentioned, guys, to start the season here, uh, we're going to try and keep things as close to what they were before as possible. This is something that Luke's going to be helping me out with in the future. So be sure to keep an eye out for his sultry tones joining this broadcast here soon. But until then, players to watch. A couple interesting things that I want to point out. Number one, we have a great blend as usual of youth and veterans on this team. Taking a look at our exhibition match that we played, we got to see some great showpieces. If you're in the Grand Rapids area and caught that game, I hope you did. Uh, but it was, of course, a win for our boys at Grand Rapids. I always, for players to watch, default to Lito Esquivel. Lito is a absolute leader for this team. His, his determination, his uh, calm, cool, collected demeanor on the court, regardless of what's going on around him, but also that mental mind game. He can't be manipulated, and it seems like the defenders are always fretting about what he's doing on the court. He is always in their head. Keep an eye out for him on the court as he is sure to make an impact regardless of who else is around him on the court. 
Another player to watch that I think is interesting for you guys. Keep an eye out for Frankie Mendoza between the pipes. Frankie is going to be getting into the goal and seeing some minutes. And he actually is fresh off of a stint with Westcliff University. The first ever university to put together a futsal program for their athletes as an official school squad for futsal. He has found his way back home. We are so excited to have him back. And we will be looking to see what he has learned on his trip to California as he returns home and defends not only our house, but the goal in all the NFPL matches to come. Guys, I hope that this helps set a small guide for you guys. The rest is up to you. Keep an eye on the game. Find your favorite players if you don't have one already. And make sure that you are cheering loud and proud, whether you're in the comments section on the NFPL webpage or whether you're there in person at the game. Make sure your voice is heard. And as I will say throughout this series, vamos ole.